What's up everybody, Fun With The Gun here once again, and today we're talking about threading the barrel of a Sega. You know, this may not look like a Sega to you, but that's because this was a Sega and we've converted it to an AK-47. And by the way, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out our AK-47 video, link down in the description. But anyways, we're going to talk about what exactly goes into threading the barrel of a Sega, so that you can put a nice muzzle brake on there, a flash hider, whatever you want to get your gun functioning really, really nicely. So let's start this thing. By the way, always make sure your gun is clear. How you doing, YouTubers? We're going to thread the barrel of my AK-47. I love this gun, but you know it kicks a little too much for me. And, it, and I want repeated shots that I don't have to readjust too much to. So, we're going to thread it and put this muzzle brake as a Dominator muzzle brake from Carolina Shooter Supply. I'm going to give it a try, and we'll do a testing on it too later on. But anyway, first off, you have to remove the sheath. I've already done this. I don't want to belabor any facts here, but this sheath was on here, 5 8 inches. I did it with the tube cutter. It fits just absolutely perfect, and you just slowly take your time. It took me probably about 7, 10 minutes, just slowly spinning it around, taking it off, and you can see the nice, neat cut. Okay, so the next thing is threading. So we got all these supplies from Carolina Shooter Supply, including this magic tap. Yeah, that's going to work. Okay, so we put this in to our threader. This is the die. This is 14-1. It's going, and it's left. Turn, you got to turn this thing left. So when we put this in, we're going to turn this left. And that's the starter. Yeah, this, this is a starter. Make, it, make sure it goes into the uh, barrel correctly. Okay, but anyway, we're not going to belabor this here. We're going to put this all together, and then we're going to begin threading. Okay? All right, this is... Um, when you put this, the die... See how the, the words on the die... Uh, can you see it? Anyway, the wording on the die should go down into the, the die stock, like that, face down. So when you're threading here, this is the cutting edge. So that's going to help you expedite threading the barrel. Okay, this is um, the starter here. This is pretty important. You're going to have to have it, I leave it, I'm going to leave it out almost a quarter of an inch so that there's a quarter of an inch recess in here. Because basically all you're using this for is to get it started. And if you have it too shallow, when you start it, you're going to just strip this out. We don't want that, so we want to get a good groove started before I remove this. So I'm going to take the muzzle brake and I'm going to screw that on and that's going to prevent the, the lead here, the starter, from spinning. So we're going to get it in here. I'm going to oil it down, give it a lot of oil. What okay. kind of oil is that? This is tap oil. I don't know if you can use, you probably can use any type of oil you want, but this is supposed to, to, to help it um, groove. Okay, so here we go. We're going to get it started here. Okay, so we got a little groove going here, probably almost a quarter inch. So um, if you leave this in here and you keep screwing this in, obviously you're going to strip out your threads. So we're taking the guide out, we're taking this guide out, and we're going to continue on just like this. Alright, what's up everybody? We finished our barrel threading here as you can see. So now it's time for the install. So we've got our CSS Dominator muzzle brake here and a crush washer. So we're just going to stick the crush washer on like that. Get our CSS Dominator brake on here, get it started. And we're going to keep turning it. So it goes in tight like that, and then we're just going to keep turning it until it's all the way in and the crush washer kind of crushes back, and we have this nice back plate here right at the bottom. So it's going to be great once it's completely done. 
Everybody, I thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope that this helps all of you guys out there that are having trouble maybe doing this on your own. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.